time in their history. And with manager Ron Saunders in the driving seat, it all looked good at the start of another season. The venue is Wembley, and before a crowd of over 92,000 cheering fans, the league champions take on the FA Cup winners in what's always been regarded as a great curtain raiser to the new season. The match commentator is John Motson. Bremner, a good ball, with now, marked by Roberts, off, oh, chopped in. This is becoming something of a vendetta between Whip and Tottenham at the moment. Villa's free kick. That's Evans getting up, and here he is again. And Clement saves, and then beats Whip to the rebound. Shot by Alan Evans initially. There's Galvin. Elia. Galvin again. Scores with four players forward. And a good tackle by Des Bremner. Here's Tony Morley. The two front players looking for positions and it's going to come to Colin Gibson and Geddes on the far post is unmarked and Graham Roberts intercepted. Otherwise, a certain goal for Aston Villa. David Geddes was just waiting to snap up the cross. Just get the feeling that temperatures have been rising a little bit these last few minutes. And the referee having a word with Tony Morley, who I think was possibly booked for descent. With! Ray Clements didn't make the cross. And Villa's player of the year last season, Big Peter with puts them in front. There's Clements going up, got confused with his own defender, and with put the ball in. Poor Ray Clements, most unfortunate. But for Peter with the sort of goal that centre forwards thrive on. When it drops like that, there it goes in the back of the net. Ardiles, Falco, good play, oh what a great goal by Mark Falco. Magnificent build up by Tottenham and what a devastating finish. He's changed his gloves a couple of times Jimmy Rimmer. Here's uh, Archibald for Spurs. Somewhat risky ball, but Chris Hewton got it by courtesy of Peter Wood. Nobody to his right at all. But there were three players to his left, and one of them is Galvin. Away by McNaught, here's Hewton. Oh, Falco missed his kick. And Hoddle. To Galvin. Falco scores again! Well, what a match he's having. Here's Evans. And there goes Geddes. And that's where Clements is going to give Tottenham something, I fancy. His ability to come out and patrol that area behind the back four, where he likes to be very much in charge. There's Andy Blair. to Tony Morley and there's Whip coming in and that's gone in and again the cross beats Ray Clements 
and again Peter Wythe puts the ball in the net and Aston Villa are level after 52 minutes and very good work initially by Colin Gibson and Ray Clements is injured the cross finally came in from Tony Morley and Peter Wythe coming in behind David Geddes here as Clements missed his punch and in fairness to Peter Wythe, Clements was already beaten before he was injured. Falco. Good turn by Mark Falco. And Jimmy Rimmer gets down very well to that sort of shot. It's one of his uh, specialist pieces of goalkeeping. His positioning when a player is coming in on goal. He was in absolutely the right place. And he made the save look a great deal easier than perhaps it might have been. Falco coming in there, finding space for the shot, but look where Rimmer is. Geddes. Cowens. And there's one for Clements. To turn against the bar and over from Des Bremner. And he's uh, smiling his way through it, Ray Clements, but he's having one of those days. Really teasing ball that, and as uh, David Geddes comes in, Clements turns it against the bar. So there you are. Charity Shield is shared between Aston Villa, the league champions, and Tottenham Hotspur, the holders of the FA.